morning students today i am going to continue the chapter feudalism in previous video i explained you about how feudalism practiced in india that in india the creation of linguistic states was the first and the major test for democracy and federal system the linguistic division was done to ensure the people who spoke the same language lived in the same state then i explained you about the scheduled languages that beside hindi there are 21 other languages recognized as the scheduled languages by the indian constitution now today i will explain you about center state relation now how this relation works at center and state i have already explained you that powers have been divided between the center and states and this arrangement has been done with the help of sharing power between them but in reality it depends on a large extent on attitude and approach of the ruling parties and the leaders as to how do they follow these arrangements the state government did not exercise their rights as autonomous federal units now i will take the example of a congress in that time congress was ruled in center as well as in the state as the same party the congress ruled both at the center and in most of the states whenever there was different parties at the center and in the states the former tried to undermine the power in those days it was observed that central government would often misuse the constitution dismissed the state governments they were being ruled by their rival parties this undermined the spirit of federalism then afterwards in 1990 some changes has taken place that regional parties was formed and they said goodbye to one party government and that time was the time of collision governments also at the center state now what is collision government collision government refers to a government formed by the coming together of at least two political parties usually partners in a collision form a political alliance and adopt a common program in the absence of any one party get a clear majority in the lok sabha the major national parties or the single largest party forged an alliance with several regional parties to form a government at the center this was a new way which gave birth to a new culture of power sharing as well as respect of the autonomy of state governments a judgment of the supreme court gave strength to this trend 
during that time afterwards supreme court has also involved in this and they give a very good judgment for this as it made difficult for the central government to dismiss state governments in an arbitrary manner all these developments made power sharing more effective today than it was in the early years after the constitution came into force now decentralization in india now what is decentralization when some powers of center and the states are given to the local government it is called as decentralization now what are the reasons for decentralization why this decentralization was made as india is a very big country india cannot be run only through these two ties that is central and state states in india are as large as independent countries of europe in terms of population uttar pradesh is bigger than russia maharashtra is about as big as germany many of these states are internally very different also now the country has a very enormous geographical religious and cultural diversities people of different regions speak different languages their customs are different they have different lifestyles in india also diverse physical features some parties of our country have great deserts while other parties receives very heavy rainfall the needs of the party in hilly areas are different from those living in the plains moreover in the city the problem of sanitation and transportation are much more serious than in village now the other factors which i have explained you make it impossible for the two tie that is central and state it is not possible to manage to run the administration of the country the need for power sharing within states that's why federal power sharing in india needs tie of government below that of the state governments came into exist as the third tie of government that is the local government that without local government it is not possible the states to run in a very proper way so that's why decentralization has taken place now you have to write question and answers in your fair copy what is a collagen government critically analyzes the center state relations prior to 1990 and of time define decentralization